hello my dear friends welcome to ed in today's video we are going to learn about competition and rivalry so there is a difference between these two ideas right competition has end with a winner and a loser very simple to say but rivalry has a person alive and other person that one is dead okay so people will be having different factors that motivate to lead their life correct like to help the poor people or some people they have the factor like to gain power in society to be rich and to take revenge and many other factors correct so today we will learn and understand about such rivalry story titled the gardener written by p lankesh okay i'll make you understand the starting scene what is going on which will help you to connect to the unit okay so at the starting the narrator is narrating narrating and introducing to an old man you can see an old man sitting here right and behind you can see the garden the farm right so he's sitting and the narrator is going to introduce this old man but there is a twist we'll see that twist at the end of the story and i'm sure you all will like the twist in this story okay so we will start the story so elaboration can only impoverish this account and make it less authentic i conceived this story in a flash so the narrator is saying if i say the story in detail it will spoil and it will ruin and the story will be like unreal less authentic okay so what happened i conceived the story in a flash means i created narrator is saying all of a sudden in a flash means all of a sudden i started i created this story it has its genesis in my chance encounter with an old man what the narrator is saying is here my means narrator what narrator is saying means is the origin of story of this story started when all of a sudden means encounter means meeting by chance all of a, all of a sudden the narrator met to this man to this old man and this man he was standing in a coconut grove grove means coconut farm where is it near chennaraya patna it is a place in hasan district karnataka okay now this old man's his eyes was suffused with strange memories and native intelligence means filled with his eyes was filled with strange memories he had some strange memories in his mind you can see this person his face is having some strange memories that is why he is looking somewhat worried so and also had some native intelligence means knowledge of farming okay he stood there a tall figure hair gone gray a long beak like nose and strong muscular arms so he he had strong muscular arms because he was working in a farm correct and long beak nose means straight sharp nose means gone gray means he had white hair he was old man okay but he was having knowledge of farming clear till here in one hand a spade used to tend coconut trees a newspaper tucked under his arm he was a laborer overseer and philosopher all rolled into one means what the narrator is saying and introducing this old man he had a spade spade means agriculture tool agricultural tool in kannada they'll say sulki gudli sulki they'll say no 
so in one hand he was holding that agricultural tool spade and in other hand he had newspaper tucked in under his arm okay and he was how he was looking like a laborer overseer and philosopher all rolled into one all in one means he had knowledge and experience of life and also knowledge of farming so all this was the introduction of this old man okay now we'll see what is going to happen he came to this garden one day narrator is saying this old man came to this garden one day after walking hundreds of miles he came walking hundreds of miles and he came to this garden where is it chennaraya patna near chennaraya patna it is a coconut grove coconut farm okay now the owner of this plantation needed a person exactly like him a few words was exchanged the old man stayed means the owner of this plantation the coconut grove i told no his the owner wanted a man a manager who would look after his coconut farm and he wanted the man exactly like this old man who had proper knowledge of farming okay so words exchange means the owner and the old man they spoke to each other and the owner came to know that this old man is having proper knowledge of farming so the old man stayed there he got a work to work in the coconut farm clear now he was really useful why was he useful because he had proper knowledge experience in farming okay he was well versed in agriculture and could understand the problems of workers the petty theft in the garden came to an end means on one hand he was perfectly managing the agriculture okay he was also understanding the problems of workers and also he stopped some mischievous activity like petty theft which was happening in the garden so all came under his control okay under the old man's control due to this the income from the garden improved dramatically there was a perceptible change in the lifestyle of the owner why because all this activities which came control under an experienced old man the garden improved dramatically that's the reason what happened the owner's lifestyle improved visibly and noticeably all the people in the village came to know that the owner is becoming rich day by day okay the plantation expanded but the owner became lethargic and shied upon shied away from hard work a lethargic means lazy owner became lazy why he got a perfect manager who was taking care of the garden of the coconut farm so very well that the coconut farm started to improve and on the other hand the owner became lazy and what was the consequences before his wife the owner's wife his wife found all this very strange she found it hard to decide whether the old man's arrival was for the better or for the worse very simple before the old man come to the farm the owner was working with all his enthusiasm but when this old man came all the work started to improve but her husband became lazy that is what she is worried about she found it hard to decide whether the old man's arrival was for the better or for the worse her husband's wealth and social prestige had risen higher 
so the owner of that coconut farm was becoming rich day by day and his social prestige also had risen higher he acquired a number of friends in the next town and an equal number in his own village even though he had precious little to do his life became crowded with colorful events so he became popular not only in his village but also the surrounding villages so she became apprehensive about his adultery means she started to worry because he started the owner started to have affair outside his marital life and upton other vices cultivated lately means he started to develop many bad habits one after the other thanks to his newly acquitted club means thanks to his power what was his power their farm which was merely 10 acres had grown beyond their imagination that was fine but their life also was gradually getting out of hand reason being the wife was completely worried due to the laziness and many bad habits of her husband clear till here now we'll go to next paragraph when she was in a fix like this one day the old man met her and behaved as though he knew he knew all about her plague now what is fix means she was caught in helpless situation in such a situation where her husband was getting out of hand when she was in a fix like this one day the old man met her and behaved as if all he knew all about her problems he smiled at her and bought down an offering of tender coconuts from a nearby tree so what did he do looking the owners looking at the owner's wife worried what he did he gave her a coconut now he sat on the embankment embankment of the well she had no alternative and sat next to him the sun was slipping away into the western horizon his rays were reaching the walls of the well through the foliage of coconut mangoes and jackfruit trees so situation is like this it was evening time okay now looking at the owner his old man this old man's owner's wife worried what he did he gave her a coconut water and sat on the compound wall of a well and he wanted to talk to her and help her in such helpless situation so let's see what is this old man going to advise this lady okay the old man began his narrative means he started to stay a story for his owner's wife okay now the story begins the old man is saying the story okay in far off place once there was a man called tammanna not anathamma it is tammanna okay he is saying there was a village and in that village a man was there his name was tammanna he had everything 10 acres of wet land a comfortable house means he had land he has he had big house who tammanna people too ready to do his bidding means they were ready to work whatever tamanna was to say okay now the most important among all his possessions was his rival sangoji so tamanna had a rival sangoji now the old man is narrating a story okay and he told that there was a village in that village tamanna was there and he was 
very rich having a farm a big house and people who supported him and he also had a rival and his name is sangoji clear till here after proceeding this far the old man started to started fumbling for words as though he had committed a mistake now that old man was started to say story right so when he took the name of sangoji he started to fumble as if he had committed a mistake who the old man he was completely scared taking the name of sangoji we'll see why he was feeling so much scared in taking the name of sangoji and he felt that he committed a mistake let's see further she was listening she means the old man's owner's wife she was listening she felt like going away saying all this is none of my concern so what that woman felt that what this old man is saying it's completely not related to why, my worries why is he talking about all that story about tamanna and sangoji so she felt like that but let's see further however unwilling to hurt the old man she continued to sit there quietly the old man went on no his name was not sangoji it was basavayya this character sangoji he he is changing the name of sangoji to basavayya why let's see further okay he expressed his amazement to how at how facts that on such varied cases when they are narrated as fiction means the old man is saying a true story but he is pretending as if he is trying to say a fiction story an imaginative writing story and that is the reason he changed the name of sangoji to basavayya as it is a true story what he was saying he changed the name of sangoji to basavayya okay so let's continue the story now why did he do like that why did that old man change the name of sangoji to basavayya i'll say you at last where the twist is okay it is very interesting story so let's continue let that be let us assume his name was basavayya he was tamanna's rival if tamanna bought four more acres adjacent to his land basavayya also followed suit now what he is saying if uh, tamanna bought four more acres four acres of land even basavayya also purchased four acres of land okay if one had 10 friends the other acquired 10 admirers means this is competition going on between tamanna and basavayya now he is saying if one person is having 10 friends the other person had 15 admirers to begin with or uh, with all this looked like healthy competition so it is looking like healthy competition right if you are purchasing four la- four acres of land even i'll purchase if you are having 10 friends even i am having 15 admirers so all this was healthy competition okay now however gradually it rose to such a pitch that there was no land left in the village for them to buy so in the village where they were living all the land was purchased by them both who tamanna and basavayya this is the story narrating narrated by the old man to the owner's wife okay now we'll continue all land belonged to either tamanna or basavaya correct now all the village all the land in the village was with tamanna or basavaya 
Tamanna had 1000 acres and Basavaya owned 800. Now you can see Basavaya is having 200 acres less, right? Let's see what Basavaya will do. Basavaya could not tolerate this. Why? His competitor is having 1000. Tamanna is having 1000 acres. So he could not tolerate this. What did Basavaya do? Basavaya sent word to Tamanna asking him to sell 200 acres. So Basavaya sent his followers to Tamanna and asked Tamanna to, se to sell 200 acres to Basavaya. Let's see what Tamanna is saying. Tamanna did not agree. He said, no, no, why would I sell the land? So he prepared to buy all the land that belonged to Basavaya. So what did Tamanna say? Why would I sell 200 acres to you and Basavaya? What will I do? I'll purchase all the land that is 800 acres from Basavaya. So let's see what Basavaya will reply. Basavaya was mad with rage. Now he became completely angered. So he went along with his people and acquired 200 acres of Tamanna's land forcibly. Understand? So Basavaya with his followers acquired 200 acres of Tamanna's land and that was forcibly. He, Basavaya wanted to purchase it but Tamanna did not give. So the competition turned into rivalry. Let's see what's going to happen next. A fence was built around that land. Tamanna could not tolerate this invasion. So what happened? Basavaya put fence all around the 200 acres. So Tamanna, now he was completely worried. Why? Because Basavaya forcibly took 200 acres of his land and now he is having 800 acres and Basavaya is having 4,000, I mean 1,000 acres, right? So clear till here. Now let's see the next paragraph. By now, the quarrel between these two had sucked in all their supporters. Means, Tamanna supporters and Basavaya supporters all were started to fight in that village. Okay. Now, Tamanna was advised by his supporters about various means available for getting back his land. Now, Tamanna's land was acquired by Basavaya, right? So Tamanna's followers, what they're saying? Sir, don't worry, sir. I'm giving you an idea to get back your land. So let's see what the supporters are giving the idea to Tamanna. Okay. Now, there was the court of law. One could also take recourse of to the police. So the supporters are saying, sir, don't worry, sir. We'll go to court will go to police. So in this way, the supporters are giving ideas to Tamanna. So if you did not want that, there are there were many number of persons ready to attack Basavaya. So the supporters are also saying to Tamanna that, sir, don't worry, sir. There are many people who can attack Basavaya also. So you just say me, what to do so the supporters are asking to tamanna so such a war had become virtually inevitable now understand what is virtually inevitable means tamanna and basavaya's war was virtual means they could see if Tamanna is having 1000 acres of land basavaya is having 800 acres of land this is visible right who is having more who is having less so tamanna is planning of much bigger master plan so he don't want to take the help of court he don't want to take the help of police and he don't want to attack basavaya also so let's see what is he going to do further clear till here now but tamanna was in search of a method that could 
annihilate Basavaya completely. Means he is making a plan, a master plan to destroy Basavaya completely. Such a thoughts are coming in the mind of Tamanna. So let's see what what's going to happen. He, he hit upon the idea of composing all his experiences in the form of ballet and singing them. Now, the rivalry between Tamanna and Basavaya started moving away from things that was visible towards invisible abstract domain. Understand? Now, Tamanna is making a master plan. Now, instead of fighting visibly means why to purchase more and more land and compete with Basavaya instead of that I'll compete him with other means and that means was he started to create songs and sing them now that went from visible to invisible competition why Tamanna had the art of singing and writing the songs which Basavaya did not have. Let's see the next paragraph. Clear till here? Now, the next paragraph. Basavaya had no answer to this. This means Tamanna's writing of song and singing them. So, Basavaya did not have any chance of writing song and singing because he did not know to do that. He also tried to sing, could not, but could not. Simple, Basavaya could not do it. Now, the fight is invisible because Basavaya don't know to sing. Let's see what's going to happen. He, ref he performed his agricultural tasks more diligently. Means he started to do hard work. Basavaya started to do agricultural tasks. This too was no answer for Tamanna. Tamanna's reputation started spreading all around. His song started making a mention of Pasavaya's cruelty and meanness. Now, what a plan. What a plan Tamanna is making. Now, Tamanna had a skill and art of writing songs Correct. So Tamanna started writing songs of his experience along with Basavaya's cruelty. Understand? In his songs, he started to write about cruelty and meanness of Basavaya, and this gained popularity. Scholars and folklore were after him, after Tamanna. Why? Critics started analyzing and translating his songs and thus earned their share of fame. And Tamanna was growing day by day popularity in his song, in the art of song. Even scholars of folklore, folklore means Janapada. So scholars, great scholars and great critics started to come near Tamanna because his writings and his songs were so powerful that scholars, critics and great people had become big fan of Tamanna. So let's see what Basavaya is doing now. Basavaya helplessly watched all this consumed by anger. He encroached more and more into Tamanna's land. So what is happening? So in jealousy, Basavaya what he is doing? He is watching all this success of Tamanna and getting angry. And what he is doing day by day, he is all consuming and acquiring Tamanna's land. Tamanna had 1000 acres of land, correct? So day by day, he started to take more and more, encroach more and more land of Tamanna. But Tamanna, what did he do? We will see. Tamanna did not notice any of these activities. He, Tamanna had a master plan. He did not wanted to fight virtually. So, he was following the art of singing. Art had become raison d'etre of his life. Which means, 
reason of his life means funda of his life he had his master plan right so it had become the main reason of his life he was felicitated he means tamanna was awarded as the best poet of his times so he had planned to become great singer and the competition where basavaya did not was not able to compete because basavaya did not know to sing and to write let's see what basavaya is going to do in this result of award the next paragraph basavaya shrunk in humiliation now he is feeling completely shame because he is not able to compete with tamanna right so nevertheless he started filling his life with all kinds of material wealth he got a palatal mansion built for himself he appointed a number of persons just to praise him he bedecked himself with gold diamonds and other precious stones so what is happening now pasavaya day by day as he started to encroach the land of tamanna he also started to gain more and more material wealth okay by that wealth he built a big beautiful house palatal mansion and also what he did he appointed some people who would praise basavaya so for praising basavaya basavaya would give some money to the people in that way at least he wanted to gain popularity so he also purchased gold diamond and other precious stones and put on himself bedecments he wore all those precious jewels to show and compete against tamanna but his house looked dull and empty even though he had so big house why did his house looked dull and empty he was wearing gold and diamonds right let's see why his house was dull and empty because the house because the house in this house basavaya's house did not have tamanna's books and this who told tamanna's books were not there who told this that is what the visitors told him the visitors who would come to basavaya's home would say that no basavaya you are not so rich you you don't have basavaya's books in your home then how can you become a rich person so in this way the visitors would say basavaya so now basavaya planned something let's see what was that plan therefore he started inviting scholars poets and musicians to his place so basavaya what he did if visitors told that you do not have tamanna's book why because he got awarded right of his times means of his times during his time tamanna was so popular his songs were so popular that people awarded him and his books was so popular that if nobody had tamanna's books in their home the, that home would not be special so to make basavaya his home special what he did he started inviting scholars poets and musicians this was his way of investing his home with meaning understood so basavaya what he did he bought meaning to his home by inviting all such great scholars poets and musicians let's see what tamanna is going to do now okay clear till here one day he came to know that tamanna was ill oh what a great news to basavaya now he came to know that tamanna is ill at that point basavaya found the means of surpassing tamanna now basavaya basavaya will not live a chance to win against tamanna so he know tamanna basavaya know that health is wealth that is what written here see health is wealth you may sing you may write ballet 
but if tamanna started suffering from disease surely his own spirits would be revived tamanna's disease was basavayya's health clear so basavayya now getting a chance of winning against tamanna he is taking the chance of the ill health of tamanna and if he go if he is going to die his spirits would be revived means if tamanna would die basavayya would win that is what he is saying let's see the next paragraph however by this time tamanna had thought of yet another method of punishing basavayya now he tamanna had already done a master plan of singing and he almost got success now what he is trying see what did basavayya do he started to invite scholars poet and made himself again popular basavayya made himself popular now tamanna is ill now tamanna understood that if i am not going to create another plan then basavayya would definitely win so to punish basavayya what did tamanna do he had thought yet another method of punishing him and what was that that was death let's see what is the meaning of death here okay now if he continued at the level of body basavayya would go on offering a stiff competition now tamanna came to know that basavayya is going to compete however whatever it takes he is going to win so tamanna what he did he is going to plan about death okay let's see where this competition to rivalry rivalry to what extent is it going to be okay but if his songs was separated from his body if there was no relation between the songs and his own flesh and body and there is three dot ellipsis that means what he is trying to say all this what what was he doing he was sitting on the compound of the well and saying to the wife of the owner right so it stopped here this is how his thoughts went means what he is saying see if there is a thoughts of killing someone or taking revenge of someone there will be unending thoughts right the revenge will be unending thoughts right so in that way he the old man is trying to say he wanted to stop why he stopped and why was he fumbling why did he fumble while saying sangoji i told there is a twist right so let's see the twist okay now that's when i realized how strange human nature can be so why is he using i he was saying a story right why did he use i is he there is that old man there in this story between tamanna and basavayya let's see the old man began his explanation to the owner's wife okay let's see further the twist man needs wealth education art and many more things now the old man has stopped the story there itself and now he is saying some other related information to the owner's wife what is he saying man needs wealth education art and many more things listen to this carefully okay what is he going to say and yet he lives for some kind of unbearable vengefulness that is even though the basic needs are wealth education art even though the person if any person is having this all this wealth education art in inside he'll be having some kind of revenge competition and rivalry the old man is saying to that woman without it there would be no reason of his existence so he's saying that without 
the desire of revenge or without the de desire of competition no man will be why and how is he relating to that owner let's see okay now this is not a real story only what i have heard somewhere now he is pretending he is lying he is saying that the story till now what we have heard of tamanna and basavai he is saying that i heard from somewhere madam so i am saying to you he is saying that old man you may know that i subscribe a, to a daily now he is saying that uh, you know madam what i'll do newspaper i'll take no daily i'll read from that newspaper maybe from that also i may have read about this story of tamanna and basavaya he is lying why is he lying i'll say you now his age becomes important and his name vanishes into thin air now i am an old man in this garden your servant i am also the person who read the newspaper and look after the garden properly now he is trying to say uh, the story of tamanna and basavaya from where he got okay now i conceived the story of tamanna and basavaya when all of a sudden russia told america i am not your enemy i shall not wage a war against you what must have been the reaction of america the sworn enemy of russia to this declaration now what the old man is trying to say is we must understand that see america and russia both are enemy countries right so if russia announces so america and russia are enemy countries in if russia announces that uh, we are not going to wage a war against you against humans against america so we will try to be friends in that way if a competitor if an enemy say then what would be the reaction of america there is no competition there is no competition between russia and america in this way he is asking probably you will not understand the agony and boredom of america once it knew russia was no more enemy means what he is trying to say see you can't understand how it will be for america see if there is no competition it will be completely bore if russia is told that they will not wage a war against america then america would feel completely bore right so in this way this old man is trying to say that woman a nation is capable of withstanding strains like this means a nation america can handle this stress this stress means the competition stress no war who is going to win both are equal but what each and every person wants in life he, each and every person wants to wants in life to be a winner to be in first place see countries can be equal mutually equal like russia and america how they can be friends and become equal but humans cannot be you can humans cannot bear the stress this is what the old man is trying to say why is he saying all this once he told tamanna basavaya story now he is saying russia and america story understand there is a link there is a competition and rivalry right so let's continue but a human being cannot a human being cannot uh, bear this life without competition or without revenge a human cannot be this is what old man is trying to say the woman i suffered a familiar fate now he is saying now the old man is revealing himself we all will know the twist now okay ready a nation now i suffered a familiar fate i thought my death alone could destroy basavaya 
now understand why the old man is saying my death actually if you remember this old man had come walking from far away to chennaraya patna and some owner coconut farms owner had given this person a work to do right this is only tamanna this is the twist okay now that is the reason here can you see this there was a rival sangoji and he told that okay let us assume his name is basavayya he changed his name no his name was not sangoji it was basavayya he was saying the true story okay he was saying the true story that's why he was fumbling and he had committed a mistake understand so this is the twist now he'll reveal himself completely see this i thought my death alone could destroy basavayya i gave my everything and started off means what did he do he at last he was suffering right tamanna was suffering from ill health so actually he came out he had planned right i'll show see this line however by this time tamanna had bought yet another method of punishing basavayya and that was death now tamanna cheated basavayya pretending that tamanna is dead what did tamanna do understand this line again however by this time tamanna had bought had thought yet another i another method of punishing basavayya he had thought yet another method of punishing basavayya and that was death death means he cheated basavayya this was the revenge that's why he took the example of the nation russia and america this both can become friends and equal but not humans so he gave up everything this was his another method of punishing basavayya he gave up everything and started off and he came to chennaraya patna a few days after i left basavayya passed away this is the death this was his plan if a person is not there then basavayya would die if the competitor was not there basavayya would die this was his master plan again to punish basavayya and he had no more reason to live basavayya had no more reason to live why basavayya's competitor tamanna had dead he basavayya had thought clear now my name is tamanna after his death basavayya's death huh? i forgot all my songs and ballad now he's revealing see tamanna no he knew songs and ballad right now he's saying i forgot all my songs and ballad i who was once famous he was famous right now he has become a non entity unimportant person thus i avenged myself your husband is flourishing today as a rich man now he is saying why did he say the story of tamanna and basavayya and this russia and america see every person is having some or the other thing man needs wealth education art and many more things man should be sufficient with all this but yet he lives with some kind of vengefulness unbearable okay that is of competition rivalry revenge or of greed of something that is what he is old man is saying madam your husband is flourishing as a rich man he is not amenable to any advice he can't be controlled why he is having vengefulness in him okay man is so complicated that till the day of his death he goes on living for some revenge or the other confronting one challenge or the other so that is what your husband is doing this old man is saying understood now what he is saying amma do not think otherwise just assume now what the old man is saying to that owner's wife amma don't think all of this think that it is just an imagination i did not tell you any of this or think all this happened in a dream the laborers have started going home at as i had told it was evening time right 
evening time right so all the laborers were going home now what that old man is saying that young child of lokya paints well he is bedridden with fever i shall pay him a visit now he is escaping from that situation after giving the solution solution for the owner's wife and now what he is saying forgive me unable to elaborate i had told you whatever i felt as it is i had seen all this in a dream this is what again that old man is saying actually this was written in kannada and again it was translated to english by h s raghavendra rao okay so this comes to end of this unit if you guys have any doubt regarding this unit you can ask it in the comment section as if you like my video please hit the like button share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel meet you guys in my next video